Hello everyone, welcome to the XAR template channel. This is lesson number 10 for the XAR Web Designer 365 Premium Software. In this lesson, we're going to expand upon the things that we talked about in the previous tutorial, which is a stick at top object. In this case, we're going to be dealing with the navigation menu as a stick at top object, and we're going to show you how to do some things with that. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have a navigation menu in your workspace. In this case, I created a custom navigation menu. If you don't know how to do that, you can watch one of those videos. I've already created one on how to do that, and I'll leave a link in this video to help you uh, go through that process if you're not familiar with how to do that. So with the navigation menu in our workspace, the first thing that we want to do is turn it into a stick at top object. So let's go ahead and right click on it select web sticky and stretchy and in this case I've already selected stick at top so I don't have to do that so if you haven't done that make sure you select that the next thing that you would have to do is hit the apply key but I've already applied this attribute so I don't have to hit that so the only thing you would have to do after you do that process is hit the close key so let's go ahead and hit the close key and then we're gonna go ahead and draw some text in our workspace so left click and drag and then we're gonna add some filler text by hitting control shift L after you add your filler text, let's select the selection tool. And we want to make sure that our page is a bit taller. So what you would do is scroll down to the bottom of your page until you reach the area where it has a dotted line. And you would left click and drag it downward to make it taller. So if you left click and drag it downward, it would make the page taller. So after you make the page a little bit taller, let's go ahead and hit the F5 key to preview it. And if we drag the page downward, you'll see that the text slips under the navigation menu. So in this case, if you're just looking to create a navigation menu like this, it won't be a big issue. However, if you have a background behind your navigation menu that you want to blend in with the navigation menu, then things will be a lot different. So let's show you what would happen if you had a situation like that. Let's go ahead and go to the toolbar, select the rectangle tool, and draw a rectangle in our workspace. In this case, you'll notice that the rectangle color is different than the navigation menu, and that's so that you can easily see exactly what I'm doing in my workspace. So let's go ahead and hit Control Shift B to push that behind the navigation menu. And then we're going to right click on it and select Web Sticky and Stretchy. And we're going to select Stick at Top to make it stick at the top of the page. And then we're going to also make it full width so that it spans across the full width of the browser. Hit the Apply key and then hit the Close key. And then let's go ahead and hit F5 so that we can preview it. And if we left click and drag the page downward, you'll notice that this time the text will flow over the background, right? But in this case, we want that text to flow and disappear behind both the navigation menu and the background. In this case, the background is green, but we want that background to actually be black so that it will blend in with the navigation menu. But for you to be able to see what's happening, I need to actually make it that color for now. So we don't want that text to actually flow over that background color that blends in with the navigation menu. Also, we want the navigation menu and the background to be the exact same size so that when it sticks at the top, the navigation and background aren't moving at different rates of speed. In this case, you can see that the navigation menu is in the middle of the green background. But if we scroll up a bit more, you'll see that now it's at the top of that you know, green background. We don't want that to happen. So we have to have the navigation menu and the background color the exact same height so that they will flow at the top at the same rate of speed. So let's go ahead and fix that first. So let's close this out. And then let's go ahead and make this uh, green background the same exact height as the background for the navigation menu. On top of that, we need to draw another rectangle that's going to sit behind that navigation menu, or at least it spans the same width as any content that we have underneath our navigation menu, so that that text will slip up under it and not go over that navigation menu, okay? Or over the background, I should say in this case, the green color background. So let's go ahead and draw another rectangle by selecting the rectangle tool in our toolbar. And I'm gonna draw a rectangle that's roughly the same width of any content that's beneath it. In this case, just the text. In this case, I'm gonna make it the color gray by hitting Control E to bring up the color editor and changing it to gray. And then we can close that out and hit Control Shift B to push that behind the navigation menu. In this case, I'm gonna right click on it and select Web Sticky and Stretchy. And I'm gonna select Stick at Top and we're going to hit apply and close and basically what this gray box is going to function as is something for the text to slip up under so that it doesn't go over the green background and actually in this case I'm going to go ahead and resize the the green background to be a little bit taller 
and also the gray background to be a little bit taller so that you can see this first and we'll we'll go back to what I told you to do before again in one second here but we're gonna make that gray rectangle a little bit taller in the green background let's go ahead and hit F5 to preview this and if we scroll the page downward you'll see that in this case the text is still above it so there's one other thing that we need to do besides making that gray background a stick at top object so let's close this out and go to our page and layer gallery and if we open up the mouse off state you'll see that the text area is above all of the content that we have on our page so we need to left click and drag that downward so that it's the most bottom content in our space okay and let's go ahead and hit F5 to preview that again and this time if we scroll the page downward you'll see that the the text slips underneath the gray box okay it doesn't slip underneath the green box actually but if we make it slip under the gray box what this means is that when we change the color of that gray background it's going to appear that it's slipping under the green background okay in this case the full width green background that we created so let's go ahead and change that to the same color in this case we're going to change it to green and then we'll close that out hit F5 to preview it and if we scroll the page downward you'll see that it simulates the idea that this text is actually slipping underneath the green background so the final step that we have to do now is actually change the color for the background in that green rectangle to match our navigation menu so let's go ahead and hit control E and then we're going to select the color picker and select the same color as our navigation menu and then we're going to select the, the green background and we're also going to make that the same color as our navigation menu so let's go ahead and close that out hit F5 to preview it and if we scroll the page down you'll see that now the text goes underneath it now you might be wondering is it actually going underneath that I can guarantee you it's actually going underneath it and you cannot see that text and the way that I can prove that is we can change the color of the text to maybe red and close that out hit F5 to preview it and if we scroll the page downward you'll see that the red text slips underneath both the background well not actually under the background it slips underneath the the rectangle that we created simulating the idea that is slipping underneath that that full width background okay so the only issue that we have to fix now is making sure that both the navigation menu and the the background and the rectangle that we created are the same exact height so that it it moves at the same rate of, of speed okay so let's go ahead and change both those objects back to a different color so that we can see what they look like okay in this case I'm gonna make that a, a slightly different red color and we're gonna go ahead and resize that rectangle down to be the exact same height as the navigation menu and we're also going to resize that down as well and now all we have to do is hit control E for each object once we select it and change the color to match the navigation menu so I selected the gray rectangle or the light red rectangle in this case and I'm going to select the color picker and make it the same color as the navigation menu so now if we hit F5 to preview it and we scroll the page down in one second here we scroll the page down you'll see that now everything looks nice and neat it slips nicely under the navigation menu and also the text looks good you know you can't see it you know overlapping any content in regards to the navigation menu okay and if we place our cursor over these navigation buttons they do change colors because I applied a mouse over state but it looks really nice and clean and professional you don't have any overlapping issues so that is how you create a navigation menu that will be full with stick at top and all the objects in your workspace will slip under it nice and neatly so I hope that you guys found this video to be helpful and give you a more in-depth analysis on how you could apply this to a custom navigation menu rather than just a standard ordinary object so if this video was helpful don't forget to embed comment share and subscribe and also be sure to check out our patreon page I will leave a link in this video so that you guys can go directly to that to support future training videos on this channel and of course there's going to be exclusive content for those who support this channel that is going to be different than what you see on YouTube and it's also going to be more frequent that means that you're going to see more videos on a regular basis compared to those who are not supporting the channel so thanks again and have a